Okay, so we're back today to bind our book. Um, this is the bit, the technical bit, I suppose. Um, I'll try and go through it step by step. First thing I've got is a piece of card, the height of my cover, which is eight inches, and I've done it by three, that's not critical. Um, I've scored it down the middle and folded it. And I've also, I wouldn't normally do this, but for the sake of the video, I've done a pencil line so you can see what I'm doing. Um, probably should say the first thing to do is go through your book and make sure you've got everything the right way up and that your pages are where you want them to be. Um, in that, I, I mean the shorter pages um, where you want them to be in the book. I tend to favour things towards the bottom, but this one I'm leaving in the middle. This one I'm raising up just slightly, just so that um, the different layers show and just make sure everything is, you know, creased and even. So we'll make our template for the holes first. So we've got this piece that's eight inches. So a bit more room. And I'm just going to mark, I'm going to do a five hole pamphlet stitch. So I'm going to mark at four inches. I'm going to come in three quarters of an inch and three quarters of an inch from each end. And then I need the middle here, so that's two and a half plus an eighth. Uh, so two and a half plus an eighth. Okay. So the next, now, if you haven't got, if you're not good at straight lines or you haven't got a scoring board, um, use squared paper, squared graph paper is a good substitute. Um, so I've got this Tim Holtz tool. It's very bent, which is why I've just got it short. I'm just going to make some initial holes. Just doing that through some foam. And now we take our pages, they're the right way up, they're where we want them, more or less. And I'm fitting them into the book and I'm placing it in the fold line. We haven't got um, a precise fold here. You can crease it a bit more if it makes it easier. It won't matter. And just make sure it's right top and bottom. We then go in like this, trying to keep everything still. And it does twist a little bit, so just straighten it up as you go. And then I'm hold, putting this around the whole thing, so around the book covers as well. I favour these big paper clips. Um, ring binders, these clips will do, a slightly bigger version. Um, Anything you've got that really that will keep it secure, it does need to be secure when you're doing this. So again, just make it sure that everything is buried in there. It's fine. I've got this big book, pop it in there. Put my piece of card so that it's Again, buried into that dip, if you like, and then I just push my all through those holes. Right through the spine. Um, that's all there is to it. Leave your clips on, check that you've come all the way through. If you haven't, just go, just do a little bit more like this. Don't worry about the paper tearing a little bit. Um, we'll sort that out towards the end. My needle, I've got a sharp, I've actually got um, a book binding needle, but it's basically um, a long straight needle with a decent sized eye in it. So 
sorry, my phone's dinging. And I've got this um, wax linen thread. This is quite a fine one. I prefer a fine one. And you want it to be two and a half to three times the height of your book. So about 24 inches. Okay. So thread my needle. And I'll see if I can do this first time. I'm going to go into this middle hole first. I've got a bit too much thread here, but never mind. And then I'm going to hold this with my thumb. And then I'm going to go into this hole. If it doesn't go through, don't fuss and worry. Just poke from the inside. Just take your time. Through that one, out through the top one. Pull it fairly tight. And then we're going to go back into this one. Again, I just go, because I've poked at a slight angle, it's just back up through that one and then bring this one tightish. I'm not going to go through the middle hole. I'm going to go down to the fourth one. Again, pull it taut and then we need to come up through this one. This can be the trickiest. So up through that one, again tighten, tighten your thread and then go back down through the fourth hole. Pull it all tight, not so tight it's going to rip it but just taut and then we come up from the outside back through this middle one. And we want our thread to be on the opposite side of this center thread to this. So let's see if I can do that. Come out the same side, so I'm just hooking that over. Bring that up. I've got way too much thread. That a bit weird, but never mind. And then I just ease that slightly, hold it, check that you're taut on the back here, that if nothing's loopy or loose. Let me just trim these down a little bit. And I would just tie a flat knot so that's left over right and under, right over left and under. If you're worried about um, it coming loose, pop a third one in. And then um, at this stage, I leave these long. Um, I may leave them long. I may put a dangle on them. Um, so I'm just tying those in a bow. Let's take these off. Just make sure you don't tear your front covers. And there we are. Your book's done. I think what I would do now is go through each page like this, just fold it and crease it. You can use your bone folder, I just tend to do it with my fingers. I think you can see now why we leave the pockets, a little bit of gap for the pockets. So I'm going to finish this off creasing these pages and then I'm going to decorate this off camera. Um, what I will do, because I faff around a lot with the decoration, what I'm going to do is leave you um, links to tutorials that I've done previously um, on making ephemera. But most of you will be following lots and lots of wonderful artists who make gorgeous 
stuff to put in your journals. I use a mixture of handmade ephemera and um, vintage ephemera, book pages. Um, obviously, when I show you this at the end, you'll see. Uh, else do I do? Oh, the other thing I do um, is that I reinforce this spine. Um, so what I do, I've got a piece of canvas which is eight inches by two inches. And I would do this after I've filled this book up. But you can do it before. It doesn't make any difference, really. Um, and then I would glue this on here using either Fabri-Tac or my white glue. Um, whichever glue I use, I bead it along this edge and then flatten it out with my finger. Pop this on. Make sure that's glued on. And then go back in. Um, with the glue, spreading it with my finger underneath there. And then right at the very end, before, um, once the book is full, I stitch a zigzag down here um, through this glued spine, just to make sure everything is nice and secure. Um, I can't really show you the stitching, but it ends up with a zigzag stitch down here. So that's where I am with this. I will come back um, and complete it and hopefully I'll show you this bit as well. Um, hopefully I'll remember to do that. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again soon.